So my name is Tomasz Parkowa, and I work in digital libraries field for Poznań Supercomputing and Networking Center. And today I'd like to give you an overview of the DRKO services for long-term preservation. But before I will continue, I'd, I'd like to just give you an overview of PSNC. So PSNC is part of the Polish Academy of Sciences. Uh, I well know HPC Center in conducting research in grids, cloud computing, green ICT. Uh, we also are, are operator of the Polish Optical Internet Pioneer, as well as active player in the e-science field, including digital libraries. I'm personally responsible for several tools offered to cultural heritage institutions in Poland, namely the Digital <laughs> Digital Library System, the Museum Digital Museum System, the Lab Digitization Workflow Management System, as well as the RTO Long-Term Preservation Services that I will focus on today. We were and are also involved in several national and international projects related to digital libraries. And our activities in digital libraries resulted in a number of deployments of uh, digital libraries in Poland. Um, we also initiated Digital Libraries Federation, which acts as a metadata aggregator, for example, for European and research facility for the public. Um, so this, this kind of content needed attention, and this is why we decided to ask our content providers about the emerging issues. And it appeared that long-term preservation is one of them. So we decided to uh, propose a approach for long-term preservation, and here the RTO comes up, comes uh, into play. Um, so our approach is to provide long-term preservation primarily for images, uh, but also text and audiovisual content. The idea is to have a, a tool suitable for various uh, uh, institutions, uh, small and large, and so on. Um, and uh, this is the logical architecture. There are two basic uh, services, namely Rights Manager and Notifications Manager, that, uh, um, that enable communication between other functional services. And I will focus on those functional services in the following slides. Uh, the first one is Source Data Manager, which is responsible for not only for storage and retrieval of data, but also versioning and technical metadata extraction. Uh, here you can see the chart describing the, 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 the object, so it's, it can be composed of several versions, and version can, can have content and metadata directory. DRKO is also able to use or utilize various storage systems. For example, it can be hard drive, it can be disk array, but also SFTP. And here we mean especially archiving services of another project that PECC is involved in, namely Platon. Uh, so the idea is that those archiving services are based on 10 storage nodes in Poland um, that provide well, archiving, backups, and so on. Uh, and of course, replicas well, in those 10 nodes across uh, Poland. Uh, the second element of the RTO are data manipulation services. And here we have uh, data migration, which goes along with the trans, uh, transformation uh, of the OIS model, Co lossy conversion, as well as advanced delivery of the uh, source data to the user. In order to make those services available in the RTO, we use services registry, which is ontology-based registry using web ontology language, as well as web application description uh, language for grounding. So, um, uh, in order to assess if the migration or from, well, let's say migration is necessary, we use source data monitor, which again uses the UDFR for loss risk uh, calculation, and also <coughs> does some uh, checksums verification for data fixity. So, as soon as it appears that the conversion or migration is necessary, we uh, uh, we run data migration and conversion manager, which is able to execute particular migration plan, which can consist of several steps. As a result, we have a new version of the object in the RQ. The uh, yet another element is system monitor, which gives some basic statistics related to the digital objects preserved in the DRKO. So for example, number of digital objects per user or space occupied by these objects or number of files. 
Another idea is common data manipulation services space. So the idea is that each DRTO can share its data manipulation services for the other deployments. So for example, there are four deployments and they can share those data manipulation services so others can use and benefit from them. And this is done via uh, the means of synchronization of the services registry. It means that each DRTO deployment has a list of other deployments or other uh, elements that it synchronizes with. And this is the way the information metadata about the, uh, the data manipulation services go along the, uh, the between, between the deployments. So, for example, the RTO A can use data manipulation services from the RTO B or other available in the public space. And as you see on this red marked area, it is also possible to set up the RTO which can act as a central service registry. So it consists only of the uh, services registry uh, element and harvest metadata from uh, other uh, deployments and provides the information to the uh, all the DRPO deployments. Okay, thank you very much. For